Hello ladies and gents, we're back and we're getting right into it. Not too long ago, we were watching real estate prices soar, sellers sit on equity that they never imagined they'd have, crypto prices go to the moon, meme stocks hit new heights, and the stock market pump, and virtual real estate being sold in the metaverse. And oh, how things have changed in a short period of time. The only thing that's going to the moon now are interest rates and inflation. Gas prices, food prices, and with the new CPI numbers, it tells a very scary tale. Let's, let's dig right into those CPI numbers now. The market absolutely hated this news. Um, CPA, uh, CPI came in at about 8.3%, which was a lot more than they were anticipating, anyone was anticipating, um, and core inflation rose about 0.6% in August, and that's 6.3% uh, year over year. And this was extremely unfavorable, so the stock market went completely red, as you can see. Stock prices absolutely cratered after the much anticipated CPI consumer price index report was released. So let's take a look at some of the prices of things and how they have risen year over year. Um, fuel and oil has gone up 68.8%. Gas has gone up 25.6%. Electricity has gone up 15.8%. Food at home has gone up 13.5%. Transportation has gone up 11.3%. New cars have gone up 10%. Food away from home has gone up 8%. Used cars have gone up 7.8%. And shelter has gone up 6.2%. Overall CPI, 8.3%. So also we saw the 10-year yield right after that news spike up to 3.42, <laughs> which, which like hardcore sell-off. You know, we talked about this on previous episodes of this channel um, and major sell-off going on in the bonds and yields market. And if you need any more signs that we are in an economic retrograde, here you are. This is a chart for the year over year on the 10 year yield. Oil also opened up on a slump um, with the speculation that global demand is weakening. The U.S. has released barrels from its strategic reserve this year in an attempt to offset supply tightness, but these volumes are set to end shortly, and the barrels in underground caverns are at the lowest levels in three decades. U.S. household net worth fell to $6.1 trillion. Mortgage rates in the U.S. jumped to 5.9%, which is the highest that we've seen since 2008. I've been of the opinion that we wouldn't see any major changes in the economy leading up to the November elections. And that's historically, the Federal Reserve has always withheld or at least stabilized the market leading up to elections. No matter who's in office, um, whatever the administration is, they usually keep things pretty steady leading up to it. And it's really hard for them, I think, in this particular um, environment to keep things under control, seeing as how things have been so incredibly volatile. So you can go ahead and bet your bottom dollar that we're going to see probably um, three quarters of a basis point rate hike coming very, very soon. So there are reports that the Fed are talking about pulling $2.2 trillion off of the balance sheet um, leading up to 2025. Um, and that's quantitative tightening. That Quantitative tightening plus the interest rate hikes could lead to a liquidity crisis. And this is why the Fed is between a rock and a hard place. Um, you know, there could be a liquidity crisis if they go that route. If they continue to print money and, you know, bail out banks, bail out the government, bail out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're just inflating the bubble even more. All right, woo-wee, let's go into these August numbers for Las Vegas. 
10,644 homes on average on market in the month of August, 7,997 without offers, and 450,000 is your median home price. I would expect to see that median home price be a little bit lower, but here we are. Um, I've pulled the data for what's happening right now as we speak, and we're looking at 11,420 homes on the market. Now, 5,214 of those, and I pointed this out in my last video, 5,214 homes are between the $300,000 and $500,000 range. That's where we're seeing the majority of homes on market. Um, now, here's some other numbers that I wanna keep track of going forward. So I'm gonna throw these in here. There are 56 repos on the market right now. There are 41 short sales on the market right now. And there are 36 foreclosures. So I wanna make sure we have that covered and keep track of it as we go. Uh, there's another thing that I wanted to get into and that's we're seeing a lot of people back out of new home, uh, new home purchases. You know, they went into contract a year prior and and these are people who just walked in to sales offices or had another realtor, it's none of my clients. Um, anyway, they went in with, you know, getting a 3% rate, whatever it was at that time, three to four. And now it's coming upon closing time, rate lock time, and those, those rate locks are expiring. So now they're gonna have to, <laughs> They're gonna to have to take the rates that are happening now and that completely changes the affordability. A lot of times these people can't even afford to buy these homes or want to, they're wanting to back out of these deals and they're losing their earnest money. This, ladies and gentlemen, and I've said this a million times, you don't go into court without a lawyer. Why would you go into a new home sales community without a realtor? Tell me. Now, it goes deeper than that. Okay, you go in with a realtor, but does your realtor know how to protect you? There's one question that you need to ask a realtor before you go into a new home sales. Have, here's the question, let's get right to it. This is the question that you have to ask a real estate agent. Have you ever gotten a client out of a new home contract and gotten their earnest money back? You know, sometimes earnest money can run between 5,000, 20,000, sometimes more. And that's a lot of money. Um, so having somebody working in your best interest is really, really important going forward. Again, thank you guys for liking and subscribing and supporting my channel. Um, any questions, any comments, feedback, hit me in the comments section and all of my information is in the description. So feel free to hit me up if you have any selling, buying, or just questions at all. I'm here for you. Have an amazing week.